In Photoshop, have you ever wanted to create text that looks like it's a mountainside or something like this anyway? You can see the word text there. Well, you can do it by selecting text. Just create some text using the horizontal type tool and it could be any word. I've just gone with the word text and I've made it in red and aerial black. Just go to layer and flatten image. Once you've done that, go to filter and down to neural filters. Now your neural filters may be different depending on the version you're using. I'm just gonna use, I'm using 223, but 222 obviously you might not have access to something like Landscape Mixer. And that's a really powerful one. It's in beta at the moment. But I'm gonna use Star Transfer first. I'm gonna select that and it's not active yet. You can see all the settings, but it's not active until you click here. So it becomes active. You may have to download it. Take a few seconds to download it. And you get these presets, artist styles. And I'm gonna go with this one. So just click there. And as soon as you do that, you'll see you've also got access to the strength settings and other settings. Now the result is not particularly staggering initially. I think it's okay. But what you can do, you can always push up the strength. Doesn't take much longer to set it fairly high than having it fairly low. I think that's a much better result. But what you can do then is just click OK. And you got that. Now you'll notice weirdly, it creates a selection around it. I don't know why, but it does. And then you go to filters and you can go to neural filters again. And you can do the same. Style transfer, again, makes certain it's active. It's a pity that it doesn't remember that, it, that you, you've actually just last used it. So you have to go and click it again. But you can use maybe a different one to select, say this one. Click that, and again, the strength has been reduced down, back down to about 20%. And then you can, of course, change that setting, and the result, again, will process. Normally, it's quite quick. Doing tutorials, it's always slower, of course, than you, you ever want. But there's the end result there. And I'm gonna go with that. I think the text is still just about readable at this point, but it's a great, sort of, it's got a lot of texture, a lot of very unusualness, to it, and of course, you've got custom as well. You can modify it, tweak it, change it, and use your own images. Click OK. Now you could do this all on new layers as well. This is another great feature of neural filters. It's actually got different outputs. So you've got options for masks, you've got new layers, new documents, etc. Very useful. But once you've got that, what you can then do, you can again go to filter and neural filters. But I like to do this in combination. You can make, of course, an action for this. Now go to the Landscape Mixer. Now you could do this first, but I don't think the result is particularly great if you just go straight for Landscape Mixer. I think it's nice to do a few, just build up some unusual styles using the style transfer. And then activate that. And this time, you can select one of these ones. And this is a, it's got a mountain there really handy and of course you could introduce your own pictures of mountains maybe a picture of a throat or wood or something like that you could take photos of something else maybe some iron or concrete or paving stones and then you can start using that and that will mix in that design it doesn't have to be a landscape it says it's a landscape mixer i think it should be more background mixer or some other image mixer so they've gone with that and now just click that and it will process. A few seconds, and you get this. Now, you can see the end result. Obviously, I didn't use that one. Maybe I used one of these other mountains. There's quite a few mountains, lots of mountains in this. But you've got a lot of presets. Again, like I say, you could use your own photos. But you can still see the word text. See it? T-E-X-T. -E it is in there, just about. But you've got this mountain side. And also, you've got lots of other settings. You've got the strength. I've got it 100%. To reduce it down. Also, you can modify it using day, night. All these settings will create subtle differences. And of course, again, current layer, that's what I want, but you could put it to a new layer and you could blend. So click OK. And of course, you could apply this as well. Now, with this, of course, you could finish at this point. But I always like to go filter and down to stylize and oil paint. Love to create a smeary oil paint effect. Now, quite often lighting is turned on. I don't know why, it seems to always have a mind of its own. 
but you can if you want to make it more smear, smeary sort of swirly design you can modify stylization cleanliness etc and apply and click OK and you can see the result here you can still make out the word text and then image maybe auto tone and again you can still make out the word text it's become a sort of fiery unusual design or go to image adjustments and vibrance to really boost that up and you can see you get a very intense design there hope you found this tutorial of interest any questions please let me know in the comments below thank you much